Welcome back, YouTubers and supporters. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and stay tuned for more crazy content. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and view the daily content I post up there with cars. So, before I get into much detail, this is my latest project car I have. I have a few more other ones that I have purchased but have not revealed them yet. This is one of them. I bought this back in February, a couple months ago actually, not long after that previous video of me trading that diesel engine for a bunch of 10V engines and parts and stuff like that. So, this car I wanted to make sure it's like at least almost restored, that way I could make a video about it. And this one actually made a lot more progress than the other cars. I'll get to that throughout the video, but here is 90% of the restoration process. The 10% is bodywork, panels, and paint. My 10th current car just arrived, and this is going to top it off for now. <laughs> just needs a rear quarter panel, but it runs and drives. This is insane. Oh, this is so badass. has an exhaust done to it. I heard that rumble. It also needs new brakes. Brake fluid. Probably even power steering. And this is the rear quarter panel. With the frame and everything. So I gotta get this whole thing chopped off and put this one in. Got a ton of parts here, interior, exterior, trim pieces for the trunk, the rear bumper, the rear tailgate with the taillight. This is a lot better than I imagined. I paid a pretty good deal for this car. All of these cars, I've got them for extremely good deals. You guys may be wondering, oh, I'm buying broken cars, this and that. How come I'm not fixing any of them? Well, that one, I need a camshaft and engine speed sensor because they're rusted. The car won't start without those sensors, so I'm trying to see if I could get a deal with those sensors instead of buying them for an expensive price. All right, I got my OBD1 to OBD2 adapter, and we got my OBD1 plugged in. Now let's see what kind of car uh, codes this car has. Yippee doo da! It scans. Ah, there we go. Cool, engine looks healthy. A little bit of coolant, a little bit of uh, brake fluid, and she's driving pretty fine. Other than that, the car pulls fine. She hits boost. Right now, I'm in fourth gear. So far, so good. Gonna need an alignment. The steam was a little bit shaky. Hopefully, after I get all that taken care of. I, my friend's body shop place, we should be good to go. Just filled her up, 16, 17 gallons. That was a lot of money for this car. 80 bucks for this. Mm, premium. Oh my god, which key is it? I got like so many keys. This is pretty impressive so far. He got the rear quarter panel welded in. And what's crazy about these cars is that this panel right here, this uh, trim, it's all riveted. So replacing the, the glasses on this car is gonna be pretty difficult. So we're just gonna have to slap it on and get it painted later on. Cause painting this is just gonna be a pain removing the window. So far so good. So we got this from an A6 Avant. Pretty smooth. The A6 Avant did come with some damage as shown right there, a little bit of dents, but nothing too major. Easy fixes right here as well. So far so good. We just need to figure out the muffler. Almost done here. Shout out to this guy right here. This is Alex. He doesn't speak a lot of English. He knows Russian, but he does really good work. <laughs> he got other projects going on too, like jet skis and other cars. Ну что, кто-то Audi просил. Вот вам Audi. 
даже с правильным мотором. Unfortunately, yet commonly found in these AAN engines is the power steering light. It fails. So I got a brand new one. It has never been used. I'm going to be replacing it with the one found down here. And if I rub my finger down there, you can see all that power steering oil just leaking. For some reason, I don't know why these cars do that, but let's change it out. And then we're going to have a reliable daily car. I think this is a 20 to 22 size. But whatever, we got this one in the back, that wrench right there, you can see. Out with the old, in with the new. This is what we have for the URS6. We got factory, apparently this is the 92 Sport Springs, the whole set for the front and rear. We also got the rear control arms and the front control arms. I probably need tie rods and the sway links, but this I believe is aftermarket right here, the front control arms, but these are brand new. Obviously, there's a little bit of wear on them, like, but the bushings, they're brand new. They're good. They're good, and they're not torn, not dry rotted, as well as the rears. And they they just been in storage for a long time. These are actually factory. It has the original Audi stampings on it. And with this week's sponsor video by Hachika, they provided me this awesome tool for my other video with this car. And they also provided me with this cool, awesome impact socket set for me to work on my cars and we're gonna get started by using this amazing set which i just started using it and i'm telling you it's a lot better than some of the other tools i've had for starters you get all the sizes from 10 to 24 millimeters you also get an extension and a small handle breaker bar and let's get started so what i like to do first is before i loosen them with the impact i'm gonna break it with a long extension See how easy that was? And I have enough clearance. This tool combination set is just so much better than what comes inside the Audi trunk. And this gives me enough clearance to remove all of them out. It's not scratching or hitting the wheel like some other impact sockets I have. And right now we are revealing the factory Porsche brakes on this car. Oh no, that's done for. It's all loose. That's not good. So far, simply, it's only been three different types of sockets. We got the 17 for these three nuts up here. Then we got the 213 nuts. And then obviously the big one is the 22 that goes right down the center. Using a 19 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the nut that's holding in the upper tie rod. The next step is to remove your lower control arm using the 24 millimeter socket with the short extension. If the bolts and nuts are a bit too difficult to get out, just spray some PB blaster and let it sit for a couple minutes and it should break it out. If not, you may have to use some torch or some other method to get these difficult bolts out because that's a lot of rust. So we got that nut out on the other side. This is the bolt with a 16 wrench and the 16 socket with the impact now we just take a hammer to it and pop it out i barely even touched this and the thing just completely fell Another rusty classic exhaust system with aftermarket mufflers and I don't even know if that's original or aftermarket CAD but that's all screwed. All rusted and 
the flux is broken. Well, after suspension fixes, new tires, I still need new tie rods and I need to get the same tires and wheels. I'll show you that in a second. But she rides pretty smooth. So I have already driven the car and it's not going to be a cold start, but you guys will be able to hear the full straight pipe exhaust system. Check engine light went away because I got it fixed. Seat belt, I got to put on my seatbelt and we're good to go. That brake light is because this doesn't work at all. I got to get that fixed. And the anti-lock, whatever, is because my wheel speed sensor is broken in the back. And I got to get a brand new wheel speed sensor. Right there. It's just hanging right there. And now let's show you what this car sounds like. Wow. 